Hey there gorgeous people and welcome to Sparkle Tart. Today I'm going to show you the basics of wax stamping. Now I've been sent some beautiful wax stamps from Craftspire and I'm going to make use of these and create some beautiful wax seals. Now you can use these on not just envelopes but your craft projects so art journals, cards, um, scrapbook pages, all sorts of things. But just for today's clip we're going to be seeing the basics of wax seals and wax stamping. Now, if you'd like to see more of my videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. I'd love it if you'd like this video. And of course, remember to click the little notifications bell so that you'll actually be notified when you've got a new video to look at. Come along, let's start 2022 with a fun, quick clip. You're going to need a few things to get started with wax stamping. You're going to need either wax sticks or wax beads like these. You're going to need some metal wax stamps, like these beautiful stamps from Cross By here. Don't be tempted to use your acrylic or rubber stamps. Um, not ideal. These are better. You will need a little stirring spoon. You can use a toothpick if you don't have one of these. You will need a handle for the wax stamps. They each come with a little thread, so you can attach them to the handle for stamping. It means they're not quite so bulky and heavy, which is fantastic. And you will need a little burner. Now, the one I've got came with a little spoon. Um, this is where you put your wax beads to melt them. A little tea light candle goes underneath here and that provides the heat source. These are the basic things you'll need. I'd also recommend some wax paper or a non-stick craft sheet. The other thing you might like is some kind of a metallic pen to highlight the stamped image. This is not necessary, but it does make some images pop a little bit better off the background if you're using multicolored waxes like I am. Now that we've got our supplies together, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is choose the stamp that you would like to use. I'm going to choose this gorgeous, it's called Leaf but it's actually a leaf in a moon, it's really pretty. Attach this to your stamp handle. This one is a pretty one of rose quartz. You can get all sorts of different ones. So once you've got that ready to go, light your tea light candle. Place the burner directly over the top. Put the wax spoon in the burner. They're made specially to fit right in here. Now. For uh, a single stamped image, just a normal round stamp like this one, I find it's best to put three beads of wax into the little burner. Let's just do a couple of pretty colors like this and then let them melt. If you're using a larger wax stamp like the oval or the rectangle from Craftspire and this gorgeous little orchid stamp here, then put an extra two beads at least or three if it's a particularly large one. So three beads for a general round stamp and five to six for larger stamps. Now it takes a little while to melt, but you've got a couple of options. You can choose to just let these wax beads melt as they are and when you pour them you'll get a beautiful sort of pattern of, of colors really really stunning or you can use your little um, spoon or toothpick and mix them together to form a completely new color grab my non-stick mat hmm. do i want to mix this or do i want to have separate colors i think i'll leave them separate for the moment so i won't be needing my little spoon right now now as you can see these have now melted completely. There's no hard bits left at all. There are a few little bubbles, but you can't always get away from that. So let me just grab this, pour it onto my non-stick craft mat here. And then gently grabbing my stamp, I'm going to stamp into the warm wax and then take my hands away and let it dry. Now, it's best if you don't keep hold of that while it's drying because you want a really crisp, precise image. And if you're holding it, you can wiggle it a little bit, which is not really what you want. So carefully, gently place it down and then let go, leave it to dry. Um, the wax drying and hardening depends on how much wax you've used. So for three wax beads, I would leave it a minute. Don't be tempted to put your finger in the wax to test if it's hardened yet. If you really need to test it, use a little spoon or a toothpick 
just touch the wax if it's sticky at all and you can see it just made a little dimple here then it's not yet hardened so leave it alone for a little bit longer now the other thing i need to warn you about is the little spoon bowl here gets really really hot please do not touch this very very hot safety tip here from someone who decided to put their finger on it yesterday not the best plan now you'll find that there's a tiny little bit of wax left you can either clean this out with for example a paper towel very very carefully or like i'm doing you can choose to make tiny little coordinating wax beads to use on a project so if you're using this on a card or a scrapbook page or an art journal or even an envelope all you need to do is put the excess onto your waxed paper or non-stick craft sheet and you can make some coordinating they look like enameled sort of like beads dots super cool we all pay heaps of money for these <laughs> and if you're using a wax stamp you can just do that with the leftovers now this should be cool just be careful as you remove it it's easiest to hold it down and remove the stamp from the wax rather than lifting the whole thing up and then removing the wax from the stamp now you can see it's got the most beautiful little impression here and the leaves are just gorgeous now you could choose to enhance this with a gold or a silver or uh, some other color marker or a few other things that I might show you in a different video but you can use it just like this it's just super pretty super cute this one's candy colors um, pink purple and white super beautiful and of course once these are dry you'll have little coordinating dots that you can put around this just so simple all right so I'm going to use this metallic craft work marker it's a paint marker that is made for um, non-porous surfaces and I'm just going to use this to highlight the pattern now you want to make sure you're only touching the raised surface of your wax impression and you might need to go over it more than once just rotate it as you go so you can keep it as clean as possible and to finish off I like to just raise it up and have a quick look from a different angle to see if there's anything I've missed and then just carefully go over it again so as you can see this really does help highlight the image you can see the little leaves more clearly on that beautiful stamped image now when you need to clean the little wax spoon because there will be leftover wax in it no matter what you've done wad up a paper towel while the remaining wax is still warm and just wiggle it around in here be careful not to touch that heated metal you will um, very easily clean this and you won't have to worry about it the bottom is going to get black again just carefully wipe this off on a piece of paper towel do not touch it again really really hot um, you you probably won't get all of the black color off it but as long as you've got the carbon off there so it doesn't uh, drop on any future projects that's all you really need to do thank you so much to Craftspire for the wax stamp I've used in this video. Absolutely love how it looks. And stay tuned for my next clip where I'll show you a few more of the beautiful wax stamps that Craftspire sent me. Bye.